Well, I've thought about this for a while and decided to take action when I found this gearbox in the junkyard. It's a Foot Model 35, and uh, this came out of a Jacobson rear engine rider. Really cool. Um, so obviously it's torn apart. I've had this thing for about a month now. I tore it apart a couple days ago, removed some of the grease, and uh, obviously I have all the parts here. Here's the main shaft that goes through those uh, brass bushings. Those are in pretty good shape. Now the only thing problem, the only <coughs> thing bad with this, is that this gear is done. So I guess that's why they scrapped the whole mower because they chipped this one pretty bad. So as you can see, as I focus in there, it is gone. And I get this one. Yeah, you can see obviously you see the difference there. So there's a whole bunch of metal in this transmission. It's a little unfortunate, but I uh, have a couple connections I can just clean this thing up with. Here's a shifter for it. This uh, it's just you turn this that pushes the shifting lever in and out, and uh, yeah, so really simple gearbox here, right angle gearbox, about a, a 2.5 to 1 ratio gearbox, seven and a half inch pulley here. This is a eight tooth uh, sprocket pinion thingamabobber everything's in pretty good shape this the shifting fork that's in good shape looks like everything uh, all those where the shifter ball rides on right there yeah that's in really good shape only thing that's uh, I guess not in so good shape is that that pin right there that can jiggle around a fair amount so I don't know maybe weld a small washer on top or something like that but everything's all torn apart I'll kind of put the cases back together so you know the general size of it and show you how it looks on the mower. So as it states in the title, this is going to be a winch, obviously. I've already done a whole bunch of calculations a couple uh, weeks ago when I first got this thing about what I need. So I'm running the 7.5 inch on the bottom. I'm running a, I think I'm going to be running around a 4 inch pulley on the engine. And then I got this gearbox here. So, uh... It's not going to maybe sit there, it might sit lower, I think it's going to sit around this X cross member brace here. Try to come back a little bit. So obviously, uh, I'll just set it up on top of the X brace here, but I'll have the shifter linkage on one side or the other. Um, I plan on having its own clutch system and everything, tensioner and uh, clutch pulley. And uh, you just grab the lever on the side, push it, it'll be all on my linkage and you can engage the clutch so the belt starts spinning. So like, put it in uh, forward gear or whatever, then put in the clutch and everything starts moving. I have a uh, chain coming from the eight tooth to a uh, 40 tooth, I think. I'll show you that uh, later. Of a 40 tooth, it'll be kind of like a jack shaft. And uh, I'll have the drum sitting right around there. And then I'll have the uh, winch, forgot the name of it for the line but you get what I know it's like a little rectangular box of rollers I'll just make my own to be solid tube and I'll have like steel cable and a little hook on side of it so more of a proof of concept I want to see how well this holds up I don't expect it to be like bulletproof and like 6,000 pound winch and whatever but I think the gearbox is up to the task and uh, yeah I don't really need any more than the one gear for it but I'll show you this little jack shaft setup I already have uh, in mind it's going to be on the work table so here on the workbench we have the uh, mini mower's rear axle that originally came with it. It was a, a 60 Springfield uh, mini tractor. Obviously tractor uh, axle here isn't very big, maybe about 3 inches uh, wide. It's a quarter, uh, 3 quarter inch axle I believe. Um, it comes with these cast iron maybe, not sure. Uh, kind of like pillow blocks almost, but they're bushings. They have these uh, cool little grease zerks on it right there so you can grease them up. but plan on using this. I'll remove the cotter pins there and I was planning on like cutting the axle around there and then wherever wherever else I need uh, right here cut it right there and uh, this one has always been free on the tractor. It spins a little rough but man it's pretty good. This one is freaking on there solid. I had uh, when this was back on the chassis like bolted up to the main frame rails I had a uh, pipe wrench as you can see right here I had a pipe wrench on this, and I was uh, 
it got it to spin. It's not like frozen solid, but I got the whole thing to spin. Maybe one revolution, but it was just very hard. I was like standing on a pipe wrench while I was holding the main chassis all the way up, you know, three foot up. So I had to find a way to get this thing off. It can't be that hard, but planning on cutting the axle around there, getting this spinning and then cut the axle there because I'm not even going to freaking try mess with these rims. They've been on there about 60 years, so <clears throat> not 60, 50 years, you know, I'm not going to be messing with them. So this is a 40 uh, tooth uh, sprocket here. I'm going to weld on this side uh, and reinforce it, but not sure what pitch chain it takes. I think it's about 35 pitch chain, but I'm going to try and put like 40, 41 on it. I mean, if I had to modify the tooth, I probably can, but I mean, it's kind of small. But I can always deal with that. I can put like a different um, sprocket on that or something like that. I don't know. I can rig something up, but I'll be using this probably. I just need to sand it down, repaint it. Obviously, it'll, obviously a little rusty here. This should hold up pretty good. I'll, uh, this will be the spool itself. Just put some washers or something. Weld some washers on here to keep the cable from not walking everywhere. But still a bunch of little stuff to work out. But this is great. This is going to save me a lot of money versus going to like drag supply and buying pillow box at like 25 bucks a whack or whatever. You know, chain will probably be the most expensive thing this whole thing. So uh, I'm going to heat this up and uh, put some kind of wrench, put it in the vise. I'm not sure. But I'm going to be hammered down on this thing pretty hard, and hopefully I'll get this thing loose. Ooh, victory. So as you can see, I just cut the rim uh, and the tire off right there. You see the axle where I cut. And then I put put the axle in here, and then the bearing would just sit on top. And I hit it with a hammer and then a rod. Punch it through. It took a while, maybe about 20 minutes. Didn't really mar up this too bad, just the outside corner right there. Inside don't look too bad. See, there's still kind of life left, I guess. Awesome that the grease uh, zerk is right there. I might be able to salvage that or get new ones. I don't think I got any spirits laying around, but this is totally unharmed. These are pretty heavy duty. But as you can see, the um, end of the rod, a little uh, not too happy, but no problem. You can change that. Just uh, grind this down. Maybe make this a smaller diameter or use a flapper disc. But cool. This is there. So I just got to cut the other one off. And then this one, this one's already loose. So that'll just fall right off. I hope. <laughs> but should be able to get a rough measurement on uh, how this will work out. But this is going fairly good so far. Well, voila. There's all the hardware for the jack shaft uh, spool drum thingamajig and uh, yeah these are in pretty good condition these are uh, really heavy duty and should do me pretty good this chain is also in really good uh, a sprocket I meant it's pretty good condition all of these short uh, shafts aren't obviously uh, cut to length but see where the cotter pins went Doot. there and there so yeah, I need to probably buy four washers. Um, buy a washer over here. So when this goes on, um, <clears throat> you can just like unbolt this and then slip it off. Same with the other side, just put a washer, unbolt the pillow block, and then that slips off. So you can remove this whole thing if you have to. And uh, just two more washers right there and there for the spool. And uh, yeah, this thing is pretty heavy duty. I say it's going to do me good. Won't bend or anything like that. Obviously something's going to go before this thing does. So, <clears throat> Yeah, just uh, knocked all the bearings out and everything like that. And uh, yeah, I'm going to maybe mock this up if I have to just slop a little bit off just so mock up looks a little better. But let's get over and see how it looks on the mower. Oh yeah, and both of these the grease zerks, they work. Well, here it is. It's obviously subject to change, but I do have enough uh, rod on each end to play with the design of mounting points and whatever. So, yeah, I might actually relocate these uh, lights. I'm not sure, but it might be a little bit in the way. I might just, like, flop these because uh, the bolt sticks out this way. may flop them so they're sticking out that way or something. Not really sure. Maybe bring them closer together. Uh, 
but sprocket small enough to like clear everything as you can see this whole thing's turning with just one finger I uh, lubed up both of these I actually flopped them the bad one that was seized is over here that's spinning really good this one over here is on like unclean surface and that's uh, spinning really good too as you see I'm just spinning this is one finger so that's what grease does you know so this is all gonna work out really good can't wait to start actually uh, fabricating some stuff up for it but mounting of the winch will be right there here let me uh, go grab it so there's a gearbox but obviously the winch can't be there because my X-brace and whatever input shaft's not long enough um, but I might, I don't know, might keep it there. I still, this is a rough mock-up, but it might be uh, a few inches forward so it can uh, sit in front of the brace and sit down a little bit more, but I like this. I like it <coughs> a lot, this whole concept and whatever. But if I move it forward, then it's going to hit the sprocket, so I'm going to have to move the lights then. Not a big deal. So yeah, there's a winch build, part one, a little long, but uh, get a feel for it and <clears throat> how uh, I really like it and the concept and whatever. So yeah, thanks for watching this guys, uh, stick around for a little bit more videos. Uh, I gotta clear, clean the gearbox and uh, whatever, but I can start tacking stuff up right now, but a little cold out, so give it a couple days, let it warm a little bit. So thanks for watching guys.